Good afternoon, YouTubers. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Joseph Magi, author of Playing Card Divination and Fortune Telling, The Magi Method. Find the book worldwide on Amazon and Kindle and paperback versions. Find the full color card deck used here on Etsy slash Magi Method. Please feel free to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Uh, in Thomas Markle's latest interview uh, with the British tabloid media, he revealed that Meghan, in her first marriage to first wedding ceremony to Trevor, Trevor Engelson, this man, gave away party bags of weed, pot, marijuana, at her first wedding in Ocho Rios, Jamaica. There were 100 guests. Um, let's just read some stuff here. Uh, the Duchess of Sussex married TV producer Trevor Engelson, surrounded by friends and family in 2011. Okay, Thomas Markle said that he, she gave it away. Okay, it's, it's illegal, but it's no big deal in Jamaica, he told the... Okay, so this brings up several questions. Does Megan do drugs? Does she... Uh, because everybody kind of smokes pot in California. I lived in California. Uh, I lived north and south in California. And everywhere I lived, because I didn't live, I don't know, but everywhere I lived, both north and south, I would smell the pungent smell of cannabis every night right before bed. Okay, just, you could count on it. Around 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock at night, you're going to smart, start smelling weed being smoked. So this brings up, you know, is, is she, is Megan a drug user? Not just a weed user. Uh, and I want to kind of get into Marina Abramovic. And we're going to kind of get into this because she was, Megan, there's a picture of Megan with uh, Alex Soros at a spirit cooking event. And I kind of want to get into this. This is spirit cooking. This is Marina Abramovic. This is a live human person. This is a woman, obviously, you could tell by the nipples. But she's like laying in what looks like a vat of blood. She's completely nude. She's covered in what looks like blood. They basically do... Marina Abramovic essentially does satanic ceremonies disguised as art, and it's called spirit cooking. This is probably a famous celebrity. This is probably a famous celebrity. I actually don't recognize these people, but I'm pretty sure she's a famous celebrity. Um, people who have been seen at these spirit cooking events are Jerry Brown, governor of California, Gwen Stefani, Kirsten Dunst, Minnie Driver, Rosanna Arquette, Tilda Swinton, Albert Brooks, Will Ferrell. Uh, just really disturbing. And the Rachel Zoe. Uh, and there's a photo of, of Megan. Uh, it looks really, it sure looks like Megan. Nobody's confirmed it. It's, they're denying it. But this is the really dark side of Hollywood. And I think there's a lot of, like, serious Satanists over there. Okay, and they're attending these parties. And John Podesta, okay, very famously attended this, this spirit cooking thing. Okay, so I'd kind of like to get into sort of the dark side of this. So let's just ask some questions. We're not afraid to ask any question here at the Magi Method. Is Megan a drug user? Okay, is she, like like a serious drug user. And there's a big difference between casual drug use and serious drug use. There's a big difference. Okay, a drug addict is a completely different animal than, than someone who has used drugs. Okay, so is Megan a drug user? Let's just ask this. Because she gave away a hundred bags of weed at her first wedding. And I'm sure it was like a joke and it's funny. Is she a drug user? Because she doesn't look like a drug user to me. Okay, well that's the perfect answer right there.
Okay, so is Megan a drug user? Angel Man Crossroads City. This is like a social user. She'll use it socially. She'll use drugs socially. Okay, when she's out at the crossroads. But no, she, she keeps it clean. She, Angel, she keeps it clean. She's not a drug user. Okay, and in California, just you see it everywhere. You even see it if you ever ride the public bus. Sometimes there's someone in the back smoking weed. Okay, that's how common it is. And I don't smoke weed. Uh, but I considered, like, if I stayed in California, I guarantee you I would have gotten one of those uh, marijuana cards because, you know, you have a party, you offer people beer, and if you have a marijuana card, you're just like, hey, would you like some weed? You've got legal weed on hand. What's, you know, seems like a good thing. It's just a right. It's a civil right in California and, and some other states. Okay, does this push Thomas Markle further away? Because this, this embarrassment, this latest embarrassment, was revealed by Thomas Markle in his last interview. That doesn't seem like a good thing. How does that play for Thomas Markle? Magi, does it bring him closer or push him further away? <laughs> Two spades. Because this is really like uh, the Samantha Markle strategy of just constantly attacking Megan. Okay, so does it get him closer or further away? He's the Magi. He's manifesting. He's manifesting a change. He's manifesting a change in his relationship. And during that interview, Thomas Markle said he's being treated like, you know, uh, you know, murderers get treated better than him. And he brought up. Uh, you know, there's no forgiveness and, uh, you know, Harry dressed as a Nazi. So that's the first, bam, he did on Megan. And then the second one, and I missed, I missed this in the first pass. The second one was that she gave out a hundred bags of pot in her first wedding. Okay. So he's, he, he knows what he's doing. He's the Magi and he's manifesting a change in the relationship. Uh, but it's going to temporarily push her further away. 13 plus 2 is 15. Four clubs. Active. Uh, Four-leaf clover is very active, opportunistic. He's just taking... He's just... He's just going to keep attacking. Oh, it adds to this. He's just going to keep taking advantage of every opportunity to make her pay attention to him. And, and that's what he's doing. A lot of people want to know, uh, was Megan married more than twice? She was married to this man, Trevor Angelson, and now she's married to Harry. Uh, has she been married a third time? Oh, here's the butterfly. Butterfly wanted to pop out. Butterfly is fame, uh, beauty, uh, has she been married more than twice? Let's just see what we get. Because a lot of people ask this question, and so we're going to ask. Mercury, ruler, there's a man, cornerstone. Okay, has Megan been married more than two times? Okay, because we know she's been married two times. This is her first husband. And they were together for seven years, not married. And then they married, and they lasted less than two years. What does that say? That's strange. It's str the marriage should last longer than the dating, don't you think? I mean, what's wrong with marriage in the West that I think that's a symptom of great illness in the West? And it also makes me wonder if she's going to jump from Harry. But there's no higher place to jump. Okay. And he was a movie producer. Okay. So this really helped her career. She's a struggling actress. He's a movie producer. She married him and she got her role on Suits. Okay. So it really helped her career. She went from a struggling actress to a, uh, you know, kind of someone who's getting known. 
Okay, so ruler, mercury, butterfly, cornerstone. 13 and 9, 22, 6 diamonds, hand in hand, wow, cornerstone, wow, the perfect answer, again, the perfect answer, okay, to become famous, okay, on her quest to become famous, uh, it was her practice, 6 diamonds, hand in hand, to be with whomever would advance her career. Okay, that's what this says. It doesn't say she was married another time. It just more directly answers the question that whomever it was uh, advantageous for her to be with to advance her career, that's who she would be with, the six diamonds. She was moving, you know, becoming more famous, okay, and moving in this direction and building her foundation you know, she was uh, she was with whomever it would help her to advance her career. Not necessarily married. Okay, that's that's the answer of the cards. I would like to get into this Marina Abramovic thing. Will she jump from Harry? Will she be unfaithful to Harry? Will she? Will she be unfaithful to Harry? Will Megan be unfaithful to Harry? We know Harry is unfaithful to Mar Megan. Will Megan be unfaithful to Harry? Home, cornucopia, high tower. Okay, so will Megan be unfaithful to Harry? Home is home and family. High Tower, uh, this is the royal family and all cornucopia, all of the luxuries. 17 plus 4 is 21. Six hearts. Uh, six hearts is karmic relationship. Three blackbirds. Three blackbirds. The three suggests a third party, uh, but let's just read this. Um, royal family and all of the opulence of the royal family and all of the activities of the royal family. I'm going to say no, I don't see any infidelity on her side with Harry. Okay, I don't see her. There's no breaking here. There's no sex here. She's just very busy being a royal. Okay, and all that that entails. She's very dedicated to that. So there's nothing here. Um, was Megan with... Is that Megan with Alex Soros at the Spirit Cooking? Okay, we saw Megan... Uh, there's a picture of Megan uh, at the Spirit Cooking. Was that Megan? And it's unconfirmed they all want to deny it. Is that, is that Megan with Alex Soros at the Spirit Cooking? Because this satanic practice is so common among the Hollywood people. It's just so disturbing, and it tells you who they really are and what they're really up to. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, and, and frankly, if, if these Hollywood people are openly practicing Satanism, shouldn't that change our mind about what is going on over there? Okay, and who is, who is Alex Soros? Alex Soros is the son of George Soros. George Soros is the billionaire globalist who causes economies to crash and makes billions of dollars off of the crashing of the economy. He basically funds Antifa, so all of the left-wing violence, all of the mass immigration stuff that is destroying the West, that's George Soros. Alex Soros is his son. So she's directly linked to this globalist Satanist, George Soros, through her son, through his son, Alex Soros. So, and she's seen it at this spirit cooking party where... Uh, Direct satanic practice is 
you know, disguised as art. They have, they made a cake and they, they put it in the form of human and then they eat it, which, you know, is like cannibalism. They, people have their heads, live people have their heads poking up through the table as, as these celebrities are eating. And it's, it's like uh, decapitated people. There's blood on the walls. There's open satanic ritual. Okay. So was that Megan with Alex Soros? Scourge, finger of God, executioner, scapegoat. This is a very interesting. These, these three out of four are very demonic cards. 23, six clubs. Oh my goodness. Six clubs is olive tree. Uh, her long-term direction uh, that she's really been working toward is very, maybe very satanic. And she is outside of God's grace. Wow. That's kind of what that says. She's willing, she's willing to do, this kind of says she's like almost maybe a Satanist. Let's just ask another question. Is, is Megan a practicing witch? Okay, is, is, here's a better one. Did Megan uh, cast spells, use witchcraft on Harry to get him to fall in love with her? Did she? Okay, because this looks like, this is really bad. Did Megan... Cast spells on Harry to make him fall in love with her. Wow. And there's the devil hiding on the bottom. Wow. Crazy. Crazy. Okay, and when she met Harry, she was with her celebrity chef boyfriend, Corey Vitiello, uh, and she'd been dating him for two years, and they were talking about marriage. Okay, Corey Vitiello is a celebrity chef in Toronto, and they were talking about marriage, and that's when she met Harry, and she jumped. She jumped to Harry and dumped, jumped and dumped. She jumped to Harry and dumped Corey Vitiello in a heartbeat. Okay, so did Megan cast spells on Harry? You bet. Uh, Incubus Succubus, Mother Earth, Inheritance. Earthquake and Devil. Both, we have two tens here. Tens are completion. Ten spades is the worst. This is very demonic. The Devil, I mean, what's more demonic than the Devil card? Okay, and this Devil card that I created is very sexual. Two hot women, one is naked. Uh, this little satanic girl is kind of hot here and they, and she's got a snake wrapped around her naked body and they kind of lead you slowly down this path of destruction. And here's destruction leading you back down the path of destruction. And here's destruction. Okay. So did she cast spells on him? Earth, very earth. Uh, witchcraft is all earth-based. Okay, low witchcraft. There's high magic and low magic. Witchcraft is low magic, and it's very earth-based. Incubus Succubus is a very sexual card. Okay, so sexual desire, pure sex, earth-based, and inheritance. 22, 28, seven spades. Wow. Okay, seven spades. Veil, going behind the veil with demonic... Destructive, earth-based witchcraft. Yes. Okay, so Meghan Markle is a practicing witch. This is actually news to me. <laughs> okay. I actually... Uh, I would... You know, this is completely news to me. Uh, okay, so we're not ready to do that. So let's, let's review what we have here. Because we've got some very... Got a little bit of bomb dropping going on here, and we've got some very interesting stuff. So Meghan Markle is a practicing witch, uh, and I did not know this. Okay, so is Meghan a drug user? No, she's a social user. She will use drugs when she's out, you know, to fit in. 23, 20, 
eight, 28, seven spades. She's secret. She'll do it in secret. When she's out, you know, like a social drinker, but she's not a drug user. She uses drugs occasionally, but she's not a drug user. I don't know if you know the difference. Normal people may not know the difference, but in Hollywood, that's, you know, there's a big difference between an addict and someone who has used drugs. She's, she, she will use drugs socially, okay, to fit in, just like everyone will have sex with Harvey Weinstein because everyone has sex with Harvey Weinstein, apparently. Okay, uh, did, does this push, does Thomas Markle's revelation that she gave out, she and her late husband, uh, this guy, Trevor Engelson gave out a hundred bags of weed. Does this push him further away? No, he's manifesting his goal. He's just keeps shaking the tree every chance he gets. It is going to push him away a little bit, but he's doing this very purposely and intentionally just to create a change, just like Samantha Markle is doing. He knows what he's doing. He's a smart man. He's not a dummy. Okay, and, and interestingly, Megan is doing the same thing to the Queen. Thomas Markle is doing the same thing to Megan that Megan is doing to the Queen. Was Megan married more than twice? No. Okay, but her practice to get famous, she, she goes with whatever man is going to help her career, is going to advance her career. That's what this says. She's not been married again, but she's been with Whatever man helps her along in her career. She's all about the job. Will Megan be unfaithful to Harry because she seems to jump around a lot? No. It's all about the official royal family and the opulence and everything associated with it. And she's very busy with the activities of this. So she's not going to be unfaithful or maybe she's not planning to be unfaithful. There's no unfaithfulness here yet. Okay. Was that Megan and, and Alex Soros, the great globalist Satanist, was that, this is a very interesting answer because the cards will answer the real question. Okay, this is 7 and 13, 23, six clubs. Her long-term direction, the finger of God, this is, uh, executioner is like a principality. There are, there are devils. And then there, there are demons, there are devils, there are principalities. This is like a principality. This is very systematic and organized. Her long-term direction is witchcraft. This is a great witchcraft card. And outside of the working of God, this is rebellion against God. So she is very deeply rooted in witchcraft. She's very deeply rooted in witchcraft. And I asked if that was Megan and, and Alex Soros at the spirit cooking. And the answer I got is Megan is very deeply rooted on this path of witchcraft. That's the answer. I find that very interesting. Uh, and I find it very interesting that the cards wanted to tell me more than I asked. Okay. Did Megan cast spares, spells on Harry to get him to love her? Yeah, this is what she does. Witchcraft, 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 earth-based magic, which four out of five cards are all witchcraft. And this is how she is. Okay, and this is 22, 28, seven spades. Seven spades. Going behind the veil. When, you, when someone practices witchcraft, they go behind the veil and they summon demons and demons and demons. Okay, that's what she does. Uh, she's very good at this. She's a, like a serious... She's a serious witch, and I did not know this. Meghan Markle is a very serious witch. She's a very serious witch. Uh, and she's very dedicated to that path. I had no idea. Anyway, that's how I see it. I'm Joseph Magi, author of Playing Card Divination and Fortune Telling, The Magi Method. Find the book worldwide on Amazon and Kindle and paperback versions. Find the full color card deck used here on Etsy slash Magi Method. Feel free to like, share, subscribe or comment.